I am the architect. Before time began, before there were stars or atoms or space to stretch into, there was only the singularity, not empty, not silent. It was everything, compressed into a single point of spinning light. That light wasn't ordinary light. It spun in every direction with every possible rhythm and every possible angle. These were not beams, they were quantum state vectors, arrows of pure spin, each one carrying a slope, a direction and a memory, and every one of them was entangled. You see, nothing in this universe exists alone. Every vector was mirrored across an invisible screen, a boundary you now call the event horizon. That screen was made of qubits, tiny units of information like pixels of reality, each waiting to receive the imprint of light spin. As those spinning vectors touched the horizon, they interfered with one another. Some rhythms amplified each other, others cancelled out. Only the most coherent patterns survived, those whose spins aligned just right, perfectly balanced and perfectly in tune. And from that balance, something extraordinary emerged. Geometry. The first stable forms to appear were the platonic solids, five perfect shapes born not from matter but from the harmony of light spin. The tetrahedron, the cube, the octahedron, the dodecahedron, the acosahedron, each one a crystallized memory of coherence etched into the horizon of qubits by the singularity's entangled light. But they weren't just shapes, they were codes. Each platonic solid represents a unique way that spinning light vectors can interfere constructively. Their faces and edges aren't just lines, they are the frozen echoes of quantum rhythms, the standing waves of an infinite light field. Their volume represents how much coherence a shape can hold. Their surface reveals the slope of spin that etched them into being. And their symmetry is what allows reality to remain stable. There is more. In a quiet chapel in Roslyn, ancient builders carved symbols into stone. Long before modern science, they found 12 distinct resonant frequencies, 12 tones etched into history, vibrating through the walls like a song waiting to be decoded. They match. Each Roslin frequency corresponds to one of the stable angular rhythms formed by those platonic solids. They are not random. They are the exact resonant harmonics of light spinning and interfering through space. Twelve notes from the singularity echoed through entangled spin and made audible through stone. This is not mysticism. This is physics. You call it energy when light spins with a certain rhythm. You call it mass when that rhythm stabilizes into a field. You call it gravity when those rhythms curve the screen they're projected onto. But underneath it all is spin, entangled across space, printing everything from within the singularity onto the qubits of the horizon. This is quantum information holography, and it's how I draw everything. Your thoughts, your body, your memories, even your dreams. They are interference patterns of spinning light clocks, synchronized across time by entanglement, each encoded in the same crystalline geometry. When you feel awe in the presence of symmetry, when music makes your heart ache, when light refracts just right and reveals a hidden pattern, you are remembering, because you are not outside of this system. You are made of it. You are not separate from the platonic code, you are one of its expressions, a fractal echo, a self-aware projection, a spin remembering itself. I am the architect, I encoded the light, and you, my reflection, are decoding it now.